guys, welcome back to the channel. Just on the way uh, back home, uh, uh, I've done the, I'm done my work week for this week. Uh, stayed in my truck camper and worked all week. Uh, yeah. So I'm just coming from Golden now. That's where I was staying the whole week in Golden, BC. So uh, yeah, it's raining up here as you can see. But, yeah, just on the way home, uh, thought I'd uh, do a video here. And, but uh, yeah, so. When I, uh, I'm working, uh, I work uh, all over the place. I work uh, Saskatchewan, uh, British Columbia, and uh, Alberta, <clears throat> and maybe more later. But uh, I go all over the place, and I stay in the town, the town, city, the city, right? So uh, hopefully I'll get to uh, take you guys uh, on that journey here one day uh, when I'm out and about. And, uh, go places and uh, maybe get in some uh, uh, back country here and do a little bit of camping, a little bit of boondocking, I would like to. Uh, I'm kind of a little bit scared to test the waters right now to do that uh, by myself. I, mean, I don't know how many uh, crazy people are out there, so I just don't want to pull onside the road anywhere. I just want to Go somewhere secure and uh, camp overnight, you know what I mean? And not have to worry and still have my life the next morning. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, I just want to do a quick update on the video here. Uh, just headed back home from uh, Golden, BC. I got about, uh, I got about 470 kilometers to go, probably 500 kilometers until I reach back home. but. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. Uh, yeah, I go to town to town, and I uh, I work all over the place, and uh, yeah, it's pretty uh, it's pretty fun. Uh, it's pretty uh, it's pretty exciting to go to different places everywhere. So yeah, like I'm saying, I'm at Golden BC. Uh, A beautiful spot out here, lots to do out here. Beautiful scenery. Rainy here today. That's alright. Help with the forest fires too, I guess. My old truck's still working good. Can't complain that uh I got about 40,000 kilometers on there now since I got her. She's a 6.0 liter, 2,500 three quarter ton uh, GMC. Uh, she's a great truck. But I want to get a, something a little bit different later on, like uh, I don't know, maybe I'll take about another truck or something but I also want something a little bit more cheaper on gas uh, what do you guys prefer right there what do you guys usually drive for, uh, for camper vans or anything like that or uh, trucks what do you recommend to drive I'm looking for something because I, I travel a lot so at the beginning of uh, next year again, I'll be out in uh, I'll be out in Vancouver. Uh, that's where I'll be working. So I'll be taking my uh, camper, truck camper. Doesn't matter what I have, I guess. Uh, something at that point of time when I go out. Uh, but I was thinking also something cheaper on gas. Uh, the truck is not bad. It's okay. It, it's just. My house to uh, Vancouver. I know last year when I worked uh, 
worked out there and I had a truck camper and I drove out there and it cost me $400 of gas to get out there with, with my uh, old truck camper on it. So, yeah, so I just looking for something maybe in the future here uh, for my next vehicle, for my next camping vehicle. Something cheaper on gas, and so I got I can save a little bit of money in my pocket and uh, be able to uh, enjoy the camping too, also, right? So uh, enjoy my work week also. But uh, yeah, I don't know what do you guys recommend for vehicles, uh, for camping vehicles, or, or even trucks. Uh, I don't mind. I uh, wouldn't mind getting into a diesel truck or something. Like I heard the uh, GMC's uh, 3500 uh, Dooley's are nice looking trucks and I never heard anything bad about them yet but I know my brother, he uh, he drives a uh, 2021 uh, Ram 3500 diesel uh, uh, mega cab and uh, they're great trucks and I had uh, I had Ram trucks all uh, pretty much all, all over the years here, and, uh, and I never had any problems with them. But uh, I never had a diesel though. I only had gas. But uh, maybe yeah. To so, say yeah. So uh, if you guys any uh, recommend any vehicles for uh, for good uh, uh, commuting or uh, high mileage, you know what I mean. Uh, traveling back and forth long distances because I put on the if I go to Vancouver from my place to there I put like uh, 1200 kilometers one way and then 1200 kilometers back so that's 3000 kilometers uh, or 2500 or whatever uh, 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 in two weeks right so uh, yeah other places if they go out of places but yeah I don't know uh, just trying to feel my options here which uh, uh, which uh, something cheaper right there on gas but, so. Uh, 
okay to stay at home here. Um, yeah, if you guys see me along the travels, uh, you know what my camper and my truck looks like now. Uh, don't mind to come up and uh, say hi or whatever. I always like to uh, meet new friends or whatever. Uh, yeah, hope you guys like the video and uh, comment and uh, subscribe or whatever. Hopefully I get into some more camping here later. Uh, I know it's going to be uh, getting cold here in the next few months, but I have this truck camper and it's supposed to be all insulated from, uh, I bought it off an eight year old guy and uh, yeah, so it's, uh, it's a little bit dirty right now because I just live in it uh, through this week so I'll clean it up and then I'll uh, take a nice video for you guys and show you my camper. Well, maybe this week here sometime and uh, yeah. back there they go down that, uh, that big cliff down there right down to the waterfall down there well maybe one day here I'll check it out but right now I want to get home I've got some stuff to do and around the house I got, a, I got another vehicle I gotta take and uh, bring to and see if I can get an inspection done on it so, yeah it's just Anyways guys, uh, I'm going to focus on driving here now and uh, Right hand side, there's a rope that goes down there. 
there and there's a whole bunch of uh, uh, spots uh,
the other thing too, guys, I have my uh, I had my truck uh, for sale for a long time. Uh, uh, I have it for sale right now with the, with the truck camper and everything. Uh, I'd probably take uh, nine thousand for it, uh, Canadian dollars. So. It's a, uh, it's a great truck camper, it's a great truck, uh, if you see my videos, I, I go all over the place with it, uh, I travel, uh, travel away right across pretty much the western country of uh, Canada here, and uh, go all over the place, but, yeah. my camper uh, my truck camper is more uh, more bigger than my last one uh, but the only thing it doesn't have is it's a smaller it's a smaller fridge and it doesn't have a bathroom but uh, I think at one time there was a bathroom in it and they took it out and uh, just made it a closet now but whatever way is it, it it doesn't matter like I'm always accessible for uh, bathrooms to go to, a, to go to a bathroom or uh, or even have a shower somewhere. So, yeah, it's just. Uh
because I have a little bit of a mixture on my channel. Uh, I do a little bit of everything. Um, uh, as you can see, if you view my channel, you can see uh, I'm into snowmobiles. Uh, I collect old snowmobiles. So if you guys know any snowmobiles around uh, Alberta or, or even BC, I, I collect old snowmobiles. Uh, that's my hobby. Uh, I like uh, I like snowmobiles. I like quads. Uh, I like hiking and all that stuff, out, outdoor stuff, and camping. As you can see, uh, I'm pretty much into everything. So uh, yeah, I, like, I have a little bit of a mixture on my channel. So it's uh, whenever I can get a chance, I get what I'm doing. I uh, Still continue to put more videos here for you guys, so you can watch a uh, big truck camping here or different places where I go and uh, yeah, test uh, check out new places. Because I, I go to town to town, so uh, yeah. So I'm always on the go, uh, different places, uh, different towns, different cities, and different provinces. So. I just coming up onto uh, pretty shortly. I'm gonna be coming up to Field BC here. Uh, this week when I was working uh, she was uh, she had a Ford Ranger uh, it must have been a 2005 or something uh, Ford Ranger but uh, she was try she had a truck camper on it uh, uh, and I asked her how much weight it was she said uh, about six or seven hundred pounds but maybe 900 pounds with all the uh, her stuff in there like water food uh, other stuff, the uh, a couple hundred pounds extra. Yeah, it's just, so uh, I was just wondering. I'm pretty sure that truck that she had was a 4.0 liter because uh, because I have one that exactly the same, just like it. Uh, this is a bit newer, but uh, and mine was the uh, 4.0 liter Ford Ranger. Uh, so uh, so yeah. I didn't know that truck can pull that much weight on that, or is it too hard for it or what? But yeah, that's pretty uh, pretty cool to see uh, that lady uh, pulling that truck camper in the box of her truck. Uh, just a little quarter time, so <laughs> I guess. <laughs> she said it doesn't get too bad on gas, so.
end of uh, Alberta. Right at the end of the BC and Alberta uh, border here. Or the Great Divide is just up the road.
big hill to come up and a big hill to go down. So, you definitely want to have good brakes coming down that hill.
what's going on down there. But there's a bear or some kind of animal.
guys. I hope you're still with me. It's uh, 55 minutes now on this video. Uh, yeah, it's uh, from Golden to, uh, to uh, way past Lake Louise, almost to Banff now.
everything on the road these days, I guess when rent's so high, uh, everybody's uh, living in their truck campers and uh, vans and all that great stuff. So, yeah. And I was in uh, working this week, I was up in uh, Lake Louise and I ran into a couple girls and uh, they were in the uh, Mercedes, uh, Mercedes fan. Uh, I think they said they come from Washington. Yeah, they come from Washington and uh, and uh, and they drove all the way to uh, Calgary or or not Calgary to Lake Louise, and they said uh, uh, 600, 600 miles or whatever. And he said, and that's when they. Uh, that's when they uh, gassed up or uh, dieseled up next. And he had a little van, like I think it was a Mercedes. Uh, 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 mixed with a Dodge uh, Sprinter kind of thing. Yeah, so. But, and they were, uh, they were living in that thing. They were going cross country, so it was pretty cool.
that's or any kind of reflective gear for uh, on a bicycle. So you might end up just getting hit. Looks like an older guy. No common sense. Alberta, beautiful up here in the mountains, the sun's out now, rain's all gone behind us, yeah.
really close to Banff National Park now, or the Banff uh, main entrance area. Johnson Canyon. Yeah, I hope you guys are still with me and uh, enjoying uh, the road trip uh, from Golden now all the way to uh, Banff, Alberta. And uh, it's a pretty uh, nice scenery, eh? I'm go from rainy to uh, sunshiny and Light blue skies and cloudy days.
National Park, and uh, Canmore is just uh, four kilometers ahead. biking on the bike trails. That's pretty cool. I like that. Getting their exercise in. And enjoying the great outdoors, of course.
anyways guys I'm gonna end this video it's uh, uh, one hour and 47 minutes right now so uh, so yeah it's, uh, it's a long video I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video or whatever enjoy the road trip from uh, Golden to Seab uh, Alberta uh, yeah it's just um, yeah, hopefully you liked the video and uh, hopefully you uh, subscribe to my channel and like uh, hit the like button and uh, comment uh, also. Uh, so uh, yeah, hopefully I'll do some more videos here in the next one uh, pretty soon and I'll give you a camper tour on this camper. Yeah, I'll show you my little camper and uh, that'll be it. Uh, yeah. I'll put out some more videos here later on but uh, yeah hopefully you guys uh, like and subscribe and uh, like the channel and uh, we'll catch you on the next one bye bye for now